all jacked up on Mountain Dew. Oh, 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 I love that. Welcome along to episode 10, 10 episodes of Five Star Sodas, we've made it, it's, it's our first centenary, it's not a centenary, it's a decade, a decade of episodes. They said it um, couldn't be done. Hi, how we doing, Al, Nick? Chilling mate, just, uh, just living that life, yeah. Yeah, how's, how's, your, how's your week been, how's how's the snow out your way? It's pretty, it's pretty bad mate, to be honest, but it is what it is, I'm not, I don't uh, make a big thing out of it, I just get on with it, like, must be my Nordic heritage. <laughs> I'm just conditioned for it, but uh, the ride is kind of that way though. Like, ah, you've got your own climate yeah. up there. The snow is like uh, it goes in July there. The only thing again is the the dog needs to go out all the time, and I'm just like, dude, just pee. Let's get back inside. Yeah. And, like, just head like face planting in the snow. Like, it's the greatest thing. So, I I need to basically walk around my house at all times, dressed for Arctic conditions. But you know what? We adapt and we overcome. I mean, Maybe I got two sledges. Ah, you, ah, you went with sledging, Nick, didn't you? We're just sledging at the park next to us, which is mm. fun. The good thing is that it's not a huge hill, but like there was like a big steep bit that people were going down on the first night when it was all powdery. But now that there's like a longer, more gradual like incline bit that is now like an ice run. So you can get like proper like cool runnings vibes going right down it now, which is quite good. I remember going sledging a good few years like back, like well, a couple of years back we had that really bad winter. And I went me and Helena went to this hill that I'd always go to when I was a kid that called a glen. And I just remember being like, nah, no, no chance. It's terrifying. Like your brain just like tells you, like, nah, nah, this is not this is not safe. But when you're a kid, like you just wanted the hill to go on forever. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I it was the worst. I remember uh, probably the first time Jenny met my my mum, we were at we went to my mum's at Christmas for dinner. Um, and I was like, right, Jenny, mum will go down to where we used to go sledging. We were in this big hill. And it turns out Jenny had never really been sledging before. Um, so I just battered her into the sledge and pushed her down the hill, straight into this big hedge at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> oh I thought she had broke her back. I genuinely thought I could maybe have killed her. Um, and I got a photo of her in my mum's bathroom, pure covered in mud, like, Brilliant. What was uh, What was the hill? Did it have uh, a nickname? The well, we, we called it the valley. It was just called the valley. The valley. Where is, we, we, where we had is two that? big hills. We had the park and the valley. And the, there were two big great sledging hills. Uh, that was in Hunter Hill, Paisley. Oh, we used to go, go up, ahead, uh, um, up in Fox Park. My, actually, you go first because I've got something I want to chime in. Oh, just when you were saying it, the hill was called the valley. Like Helena was like, one year she was like, we'll go to this way. We used to go sledging. It's called the gully. <laughs> And it was the same God, vibe. The thing was, there was a road at the bottom so that you had to like like slow yourself down. But I actually think that year we couldn't get a sledge. There was like a severe drought of sledges. Shortage. It ended up, me and Helena and our brother and his pal ended up on like just a big giant bit of uh, plastic, if you know what I mean. Like, what do you call yeah. that stuff? Like, roof, you know I mean? we did roofing tarpaulin before. And there was yeah, exactly. Like 20 of us on it. I've been in a bin bag before as well. Ah, like, so the, 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 the one at the, bo the bottom of our house, it's just a big hedge, but there's a fence in the middle of the hedge. Um, so it's just a disaster. But there was one wee bit called the ski run, and that was quite cool run. Was like, that was class. The one I was going to say is like, my brother just got photos of it developed, um, or someone scanned them in for him. And it was like, my dad and his friend James. And like, bear in mind, this is like, me and Johnny are under ten, so we're we're young children. But the if it's if you think about like maybe not your dad though, because he's a bit older. But like I don't know, what age, my dad, dad must have been like any thirty. So like my age, he must have been in thirties. So like a real ten year old like kid or something. And like, but when you see the picture of like him and this guy James, like his friend driving us up to have him more, I just looks like the boys like. They're smoking fags and like taking pictures, like try to do the OG selfies and stuff. <laughs> but we went up to Avonmore and had this like crazy legend experience. But the thing that I remember most, which I was trying to explain to my brother recently, was that there was a petrol station on the way up to Avonmore, which is nuts because like I've obviously drove many times through that way now, especially going up with a hockey when you're younger. But there was a vending, a vending machine that had burgers. It would mic. It was like a microwave vending that, like, and I remember getting this, and my dad going, "Do you want a burger?" And I was just like, "From what?" And he's like, "The machine." And I'm like, "Of course, why would that not?" And I, and it came out like, uh, see if you think about like 
predating a Rustler burger. It was like in a foil bag. Yeah, yeah. Just, just so, if I remember the there was one on Royal Exchange Square, and it was like a shop front, and it was it was all it was like me aimed at the late night market, and it was like pizza slices and sausage rolls and stuff like that, and it was just like. It was a shop front on Royal Exchange Square, and you put like a pound in, and I do remember. Home. I remember seeing that. But there was like guys working in the back of it, oh, right, okay. and would they would load it. up. They would aye. load up the drawers. Aye, you remember this that? thing was like a like a vending machine. That yeah, like, where about on Royal Exchange? Like rough. Like, can you think where it is um, now? I think it's BRGR now. Really? I don't. I honestly never never seen this man. The uh, but th this machine I'm talking about had like one of those. You know the ones that's got like the plastic, clear plastic. Uh, like door, door thing yeah. that you open so that's what it do it would like it would heat it up drop it in this and then you opened it and took it out and it was like and i've only ever really seen it see I've, I've seen them a lot because they're big in the continent like germany outside really cheap snide hotels pizza slice vending machines are pure so like that's just the standard and it's just a vending it just looks like a vending machine i actually just seen a thing on facebook marketplace it was someone selling i don't know if the brand's called is it called clicks maybe it's like a clicks hot drink machine yeah. Oh, the yeah, OG, yeah. and it's like they would you get this powdered hot chocolate that would ah, literally so good. it would like it's melt your, your face off on your yeah. eyes. Do you see those things, right? Like, this is like a throwback. Those are the kind of things you would have in the lagoon and like hockey rinks around, right? Aye. But there was two options there was hot chocolate for mugs, and then down or two, it would be like hot chocolate milk, mm. and it would be like that pure UHT powdered milk with a hot water mixed in, and it was like the much better option. See, so there, like, was one of, there was one of those clicks machines in my dad's work, and I knew the number. Apparently, if you press 5 2, free hot chocolate. Could be an urban myth, though. Actually, there, <laughs> oh, was, there was something like that. No, there was something like that when I worked in Tesco. This was like the one of the first the first day uh, when I worked in Tesco when I was younger, like I, like my pure school job. That you go in and they were showing you like they've shown you around the shop. Like this is the canteen. If you want a drink, everything subs everything's like subsidized from the store. So they would fill like it was an iron brew vending the machine, and you could get a can of iron brew at the time for like 15 pence because I think it was like 35p for a can. So everyone was half price, but the clicks machine there was like free. You just like plug it in. The good old days of the soda. Right. <laughs> What's a can of like? I think I paid 150 for a 500 ml bottle of Diet Coke yesterday. Easy, nah, man. From a, six, from, I mean, for a can, you're about 65p normally. No, oh, if you're at, see if I, you're like if you're the MS you, garage or something crazy. Oh, I mean, they, if you're at a garage, you're getting stung for a pound a can. Easy. I just I feel like that's becoming more commonplace. Remember, it used to be service station. You were just like, What's yeah, going yeah, on? Yeah. yeah. Sainsbury's like a bray head is like 79p a can. Easy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking of what I've seen. Like, you get that can of Coke and it's got the 65p all around the top of it. Uh, yes, but I remember, like, the Panda Pops used to be, like, 15 or 20 pence. Ah, it was 10p for a, a bottle of plastic juice. Easy, 10p. Change days, guys. <laughs> We're getting oh, mate. Yeah. oh, wait a minute. Were you... Hey, hey, whoa, oh. whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Hold on. What are you drinking? It's a sampler. I'm drinking... What is it? Well, like, you know how the Queen gets, like... It's my birthday on Sunday, so, like, the Queen gets, like, her birthday week... I also get my birthday week. I don't still answer the, the question. Though. What are you actually drinking? Week, I'm drinking Johnny Walker Black label. Oh yeah, I, I, I got a bottle That's... of that for my birthday. It just never arrived. Oh no, you got a, you got a better bottle than that for your birthday. But COVID has uh, kept me from <laughs> delivering the tea school bride. That, that was... still inter that'll interfere with your palate. That better not affect your scores. No, I don't think it will. I mean, why don't we find out by going on to the first one? Yeah, straight in. So I, I'm bringing our first drink then. Oh, Take, yeah. I say I'm bringing it. I say I'm bringing it, but. I'll get it. Are you not bringing it? It's delivered by the soda Te fairies. Technically, this came from a friend of the show, Sam Beaton. Uh, Sam Sam used to work for me at the QMU, uh, and he now, he now lives in the Czech Republic. Uh, and he's he's sent us over some Kofola. Kofola. Now I have zero clue. Like let's, I we should get, give that a wee shot for the camera. Uh, zero clue what this is. No, I idea. guess. Let's all have a guess. Right? I mean, it's going. Been, been that it's called Kofola. I'm going coffee cola. It, it's definitely, and it uh, looks like a cola. It uh, looks like uh, a cola, so. Uh, I mean, that would be good if it was. But you're not a big coffee drinker, Andy, are you? No, but do you know what? I don't mind. There's a... Uh, don't mind coffee. Fritz, I like coffee sweets. Fritz do a coffee cola. I don't mind it. I actually quite like it. But we're not even sure if that's what it is. I mean, yeah, I have no idea. We're, we're taking a guess. I mean, actually, I, was just, I was just watching I that episode check. of Friends where uh, Monica has to cook with a company. It's called Mocklet. <laughs> and that sounds like Kofola. It's let me, Kofola. Let me say before we... Reconstituted fish bits. <laughs> before we get in here, right, Kofola it is 
a 500 ml bottle, plastic bottle, plastic bottle. Um, weirdly, it's got this like sort of like how would you describe that wavy sort of curvy design? It's like the Pami. Do you remember the Pami? Al? the the Virgin Cola. They had a bottle called the Pami, and it was oh, this. Yeah, oh, right. I remember Virgin, Virgin Cola. I remember yeah, Virgin, Virgin, Virgin Cola. Anyway, was, the bottle was called the Pami because it was based on Pamela Anderson. Pamela Anderson like, yeah. Oh, really? Wow. Yep. Well, this has got like a love heart oh, and an get away with that, thing you've done to it. Have you noticed yeah. that? No, it's because uh, well, mine's has got a saw and a Christmas tree in Boston, ain't it? Oh, what? What does yours have, Nick? A love heart and an engagement ring. I've got a love heart and an engagement ring. Oh, shit. Maybe well, these are, are made like, to be, guys. What says this? Yeah, plus KFL equals VL. VL. Well, right. Lips. Hold on. I've had oh, this VL. conversation quite a lot recently. You know what a VL is? Virgin uh, Lips. Ah, that's what, see, I've had this oh, conversation so many we times. Never said that here. We never said that, but I know what it is from like uh, here just like from... other, other territories. Wait, Wait, when you broke a VL? We, do you know what we called it? What? It's, yeah, you were a square. See, I've heard that before oh, in, in the same squared. conversations. I've like, what is it? Yeah. But no, it was really? a VL. Unsquared? You know, VL. What age were you when you broke a VL? Whatever P7 is. 14. I was, 14. I was I was late. I was late. I made up for it. But I, I, was was getting, I was getting rounds in. Are you right? seven, man? There you go. What was her name? Uh, Lindsay. Name? Lindsay. Yep. What was yours, Man- Andy? Mandy. Mandy. That's cool, and it was, in, it was in a bush. Genuinely. <laughs> mine was in, in a bush. bush. Yep. Mine was in mine a bush. Was Lorna. That's my sister's name. It wasn't your sister. <laughs> but Lorna. You know hey, but I have it. It sounded as if you were about to go, Lorna, if you're out there. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I met you in that bush that time. Uh, I, so I, 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 I'm glad that the VL bit come up, but should we get in? I'm, I'm looking forward VLs. to this. Funny. Oh, struggle to. Can I just, one more thing about the VLs was like, obviously, maybe not for Al because he was like a primary seven, but was it a. Was it a sort of, um, was, well, how much I say this? Was it like, did you get slagged for it? Aye, but was it a thing where you're like competing to try and get it yes. broken? Yeah. Ah, we bet you. I think, uh, it was right, a, let's, let's go off the VLs and get into this. I think this is going to need some discussion here, guys. Oh my God, that smells weird. Yeah. It smells like menthol. Oh, before you see the taste, taste, before the taste, no, what are you smelling in that? I don't know. It tastes. I don't really there know. Is something familiar. You're getting, you getting some like mini. It's. I don't know. I, I mean, it may. It may be the bottle. It may be the fact that this has came from Czech Republic or something. Feels. It tastes a wee bit flat. What does Sam it, say when he? When he flat, but I think that's Jewy Transit. It's so when Sam sent us over, he said that this is one of the most popular drinks over there. Um, yeah, I, I think that yes. we've maybe we've maybe suffered from the transit issues, and it maybe has got a wee bit flat. Um, it's a weird dark cola. I would, I mean, if somebody was to guess, I would have said, aye, this is coffee cola. I don't think it is, man. I don't think there's any coffee going on in this. Do we, do we even know? Did we do any research? I'm, I'm just research right now. Oh, it's okay. I'm way ahead of you, buddy. Are you way ahead? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty. It just says carbonated soft drink, Czech Republic, rival, rivals Coke and Pepsi. Uh, ingredients. Well, there you go. Kofo syrup. The main ingredient of Kofola, so that's their their it's practice. Kofi, it? It's their syrup. Cough syrup contains high codeine, Benalin. fourteen herbal and fruit ingredients, apple cherry, currant. So it's really like a kind of a fruity herby Coke. It has thirty percent less sugar. Oh wait, is this like a percent more caffeine than Coke? Is this like a stevia kind of vibe, or like a green cola? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no. Maybe, 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 but. No, it's just basically. Very free. They've got a bunch of other drinks, but we'll maybe get to that. I know how old it is. Oh, do you know how old, when was it? When did it come out? Bear with me. Uh, introduced in 1960. Oh, I mean, it's not. It's not like it's, it's new. It's not. Oh, it's, it's not it's, like it's, a green cola. It's a. Uh, have you ever had that? You know how like you have like HP sauce. You ever seen the one that's like fruity sauce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like brown sauce, but it's called fruity sauce or fruit sauce yep, or something. Yep. It's like that. Right, so, like co- Coke is the HP, and this is HP fruity. Oh, here's a little bit of history, guys. Yeah. During the sixties, it became very popular in communist communist Czechoslovakia, as it was substituted for the Western cola drinks like Coke and Pepsi, uh, which had been available since 1968, but they were expensive and considered for high society. So, <laughs> Matt, is this, is it oppression that I'm tasting? Cola is popular. <laughs> it's a popular option in restaurants. 
as it can be draft from kegs. Oh man, so, this is wrong. I mean, so I'd, I'd, quite, I'd quite like to taste that draft. Do you know, what? I don't mind it. Do you know what it's I, like? I, I mean, think you know all those... the flavors in it, it would go with a spirit. And mm-hmm. uh, maybe do you know those uh, those sweets you get from IKEA, Beeler? Yeah, mate, they're dynamite. Ah, uh, they're good, but this has got a kind of let's kind of kind of like the way Beeler. No, I know what you're weird. saying. That maintenance, yeah, this weird kind of. I quite like it actually. I do. Yeah, I, I, I'm in. I'm in. I'm what you're saying, Andy. As to see if you, it's like one of those funky, uh, the new cokes, like a an yeah, organic cola. Cokes, yeah, it's got like herbal notes in yeah. it. See if that was in a glass bottle. Mm. If you were in a glass, it, was bottle. Like, it said like <laughs> a genie in a bottle. If this is in a glass bottle and it said like it was like yeah, organic cola, you would be like, oh, this fucking hipster bullshit cola mm. thing. But like now that we've got it, it's from like the Eastern Bloc. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> see the Berlin Wall coming down. Um, like you're like oh, communist cola, um, communist cola. That's what it probably is. I think I'd like to taste it in the future at some point. Fresh, full draft. carbonation draft pint. You want a draft pint full of cola. glass of ice. Is that that could, that could be a, an episode in itself? Twenty twenty two. Boys go out there to seek it out, and it's just straight draft. Yeah. 50 litre eggs, let's go. Right, what are you saying? Right. So, I, I, I mean, I, I quite like it. Um, I'm not saying that I definitely rush out, import some from Czech Republic, but I'm, into, I'm giving it a 2.8. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm on the same page, mate. It's, there's, I, I do, I like it, and there's nothing really unpleasant about it. Like I say, I'd like to taste it at full carbonation, but I can kind of imagine it in my head, and for that reason, I'm going to go 3.1. Oof. Ah, oh, man. What are you doing? 1.9. Oh, this guy. For me, it is not. Over there. It is <laughs> not. <laughs> it's not like. I just feel like it's. It's not doing anything like particularly. It's not making my palate dance. It's making me question my own senses. It's making me think: Do you have coronavirus? Because this doesn't taste <laughs> right. Uh, I just think like if you're going to be a cola. Especially if we're going to try and compete against the like big, big Western Coca Cola, you can't need that many days, shit, man. You need like step your game up. Um, if you're going to try and be coffee cola, which I hoped it was going to be, then I'm sorry, but that ain't it. Um, I think 1.9. Right. Sorry, so I give you an average. Your average score is 2.6. Yeah. 2.6 for Cofola. Um, it's can't really argue with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't really argue nah, that. I mean, oh, I so would it's not under 2.5, but. I think how just you were kind of you were rating that based on like what you hoped it might be. I think you're giving too much to this carbonation. No, I, I, thing. I, I personally rated it on what I thought it was. I mean, don't get me wrong, we could go and get it full carbonate, and I'm I'm going up a score. So no, I, I would I, like I, to. I'd like Sam Beaton to come on an episode and uh, argue this. Maybe I don't. I don't know if he was like tried. Try to like pull oh, the wool over his eyes. No, I don't think he was selling. He, he wasn't sending it as to say this is amazing. It's the best. It was just was that, like, that that was a big thing over there. That was their number one kind of thing. He's like, do you really want to send him Iron Brew? Do you want to taste communism? Because here it is. Um, see, to be honest, me. See, if I was out there, I would cop that because I always cop what's in the what's in the fridge when I'm abroad. I always cop the thing. I don't know what it is. Like when we, when we were in local delicacy, in, uh, Norway, that uh, is it called Urge? Urge, I can't remember. It's like a kind of lemon lime thing. It's like just everything in the fridge is pretty standard. O- off the top of your head, what is the like on your travels? We're well traveled gentlemen here. On your travels, what do you think is like a standout soft drink that you, you picked out of the fridge? Take the US out of it. That's I, no, I wouldn't even take the US. I wouldn't take the US out of it. There's a country that beats the US for me for a soft drink. Aye. Uh, it's Ireland. Oh, well, there you go. Fair Club Orange, and I'm not even talking McDade's. Like, obviously, the cola is something that we've just found. But Club Orange was a that's a standout for me for finding it. Other than as we talked about it before about the the Coca Cola mixing machines and all that, mm. like first seeing them in the US. But pff, Ireland's got some standouts. Some special fact, comes another one coming up is the Christmas soda, the Norwegian Christmas soda. Yes, is special and just has such a fondness for me because. I've been out there multiple times during Christmas and soaked that vibe up and then had the whole thing explained to me like this. Because we don't really have a seasonal drink. We have variations on our current drinks, but this mm-hmm. just, they just, you know, the Yobrus just comes out and it's just, it's money. So good, man. One that sticks out for me is uh, in Germany, 
So when I went to Berlin, you would already said like, oh, check out like the um, why what, what's the name of it again? Burgermeister. 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 Yeah. But well, no, that's not what I mean. I mean the cola. What was it's it? Called? Um, and uh, it was, it's on the board, isn't it? Um, yeah. The but there was like so many variations, and the first fritz I had was the coffee one, and yeah. I remember thinking that's crazy good. But the thing that like blew my mind was like burgermeister and getting a mishmash for the first time. Yeah, and I mean, just like I'm like a burgermeister how... sitting outside with anything like any of the drinks they sell there is just under. There's just something about this dark bottle with a bright blue label, and it was just it, it was just a good experience. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll tell you the one of the worst things I've ever tasted that is fizzy, eh? and it came from eh, the Harry Potter studio in London. Was the the butter beer uh, thing? The butter beer thing. Trash, oh my right. god, that was trash. Well, for for one of the worst, I would take you back to Berlin and give you some club mat. Ah, that's honking as well, man. It's barking. I'll I'll give this one mad random, and I might try and get it for us just to see if it's changed. But when I was a kid, we went to Malta. And the only thing in the vending machine that I hadn't tried or seen was a drink called Kinney, K-I-N-N-I-E. And I tried it and it tastes like death to me when I was a wee guy. <laughs> I was just like, because you, you just think anything that comes out of a vending machine should be like sweet and delicious. Yeah. And, just, and I was just like, Puss. and it was really like, as far as I can remember, it was like super bitter and herbal. And, and, but suppose it's a massive seller in Malta, the huge country of Malta, but um, I might try and get some Kinney just to revisit that. And see, just looking up, just looking up there. You've got to be curious when you're, when you're, when you're I on can't, the track. What I can't stop thinking about right now is that you said that the top of the show was Virgin Cola because uh, Jim, uh, my stepdad, long, long-term watcher of the show uh, in our decade of parents, um, that was one of the things he would get from Macro. Mm. It was it was always like original look is it, which I would tan and give out to my mates. And then he'd also get Virgin Cola, which I literally like would do my best to avoid. Cause it was like this huge can. You know, I remember Virgin Cola. I never remember like, the cans, I only ever remember the bottles. It was like four hundred mil, maybe five hundred mil. Oh, I think and I do remember. Huge. I think I Big red Sorry. cans. A USP they were rotten. And like it's it was mad one of those things just like, why did you know, like why are all these people just trying to like stop me drinking Coca Cola? Like, if you took all your bullshit off the market, then like when Shona goes to the shops and take and get Coke, she's coming back with the good stuff. But there's so many. I mean, there's so many things. It just depends. Like, take McDade's and anyone that's doing some great stuff out there. But remember, like RC Cola was mm. here for that was pretty readily available. Tesco, like back in the nineties, used to. I don't know, being a wee guy, and this was like my my grandpa's go to his whiskey was a. Uh, Tesco's American Cola, it was called, and it was like I actually remember getting it because it was like very distinct to like the value cola. It was like in between like what a Coca Cola would be and then their own kind of thing. So I remember mid mid to late two thousands, it was a uh, the RC Cola started coming back into Asda, and mm-hmm. I, had, I would get that. You used to buy that, yeah, I would buy that with time, man. So good. Good. The uh, the other one as well was uh, which doesn't exist now was. Martin Spencer's until about three years ago used to do their own cola, really? and it was like it was good, man. It was a, it would have been compared to it on that board. The Martin Spencer's Florida Orange. It's not to be uh, sniffed. That's that is good, screamer, yeah. That's Maybe we need to bring some M and S. I mean, I've actually got some of them in it because we we bought some big bottles because we were going to do the old big bottle New Year special, and then that's I got the COVID. Big, yeah. Um. So I maybe, maybe we need to bring that out for an, another one. The one thing um, I think about Martin Spencer's though, and it's the same with all the supermarkets, is that uh, there's only finite places. Like, let's just take something for like spirits, for example. There's only finite places that are making whiskey, right? Mm-hmm. Must be, I don't know. So somewhere in the UK is supplying Tesco and Sainsbury's and Morrison's and Martin Spencer's and they're like dev- different varying levels. So you need to think. Martin Spencer's don't have a co- like a cola plant. Yeah. Or like an orange plant. So who's making this for them? I was my dad had a guy like we the his mate moved down to England and we used to go and visit them our kids and he worked in I don't I don't know what you call it, a lab, I guess, making like uh, soap powder. A, a company that made soap powder and washing up liquid. And back then he was like that to my dad. He was like, You just he's like, It's all the same. It's all the same. Like literally they put like a little blue Sometimes they put little blue bits of powder. It looks like a new ingredient. He was like, I'm literally 
and put in the same thing. The same thing's going in every box. Like, trust me, just whatever that, ones. That was the, the there used to be the there was the big sauce factory that used to be behind Seat Hill Playing Fields. Is that uh, the official name? I, no, I can't remember what it was called. It was a mix of something. Sauce it, it was McDonald's, but it did make it did? McDonald's burger sauce. Um, really? like a special Big Mac sauce. And there was a guy I used to go to school with. His mum worked in it. And she was like, yeah, we make ketchups and all that for all these people. And they're like, ah, they're all the same. They're yeah, all, man. Like, it's just, mad. It's a different flicker. Well, I was looking this up the other day about like, uh, there's such a tangent we're on right now, but I was looking up the, like, the try to see what the difference between a McChicken sandwich and a chicken mayo was. And the only difference is they Bread. change out the bun. So it's not the seeded bun they put in, like the kind of hamburger bun. And the sauce, now the sauce on the chicken mayo is like cool mayo, it's called. So it's not even just mayonnaise. It's not like Heinz mayonnaise, it's cool mayo. Like, and the other one is just special sauce. And I was kind of thinking, well, I thought Big Mac sauce was like the special sauce. So, like, does the chicken have its own? I'm going to need to do the pure deep dive <laughs> and see, like, what is, like, what are they, what are all these different, like, it's like how many of ingredients are like, trying to do, man? How easily do you get, like, get conned by these things? I remember trying to buy, Helena was trying to buy a pair of trainers. A pair of Air Force Ones, just white on white Air Force Ones. And the guy in Foot Locker was like, I don't have whatever it was. He was like, I've got this size, but this is an adult's one. So it was like 60 quid. And they didn't have like, see, it was like a four. And the guy was just like, and I was like, but it's the same shoe though. So I'm not. And he was like, it's not the same shoe, mate. It's made differently. Yeah. It's like, you know, adult feet are different. I'm like, no, why would they, why would, why would Nike make a shoe that literally had the same? They're not making two, uh, what do you call it, a last? I was like, it came in the same yeah, factory. Um, They're not making variations. W- weirdly, I've actually taken a bit of a deep dive into exactly this subject recently um, about the b- the difference between grade, grade school sizes and then adult sizes. That's and they actually cool. use different, they use, uh, they use, but grade school's a kid size, it's not an art. They use different materials. Yeah. But anyway, we are going on a mad tangent here. To, tangent. To, try to, get, to try to get us back to the juice, let's go back to the, the Pammy. And you were saying about the Virgin Cola and it being a big 500 mil can. And Aye. I know that's meant, like, if you're like, I'm not drinking a 500 mil can. None of us would think anything about going to the pub and drinking a pint of coke. A pint is 568 mil. I would, like, you know, like, I would never, I would never, like, see the, the, if they go through the menu and they they give it, like, uh, like I'm like, what what drinks have you got? And they go through them all. At no point am I ever going, I'll just take a pint of, like, I'm cool. always standing a pint of but see, but see when you work in I think also when you work in a in hospitality and you're not boozing, you're quite inclined like me, me and Roy would go into common and be like, yo, let's get like we'll get two pints of Diet Coke. It probably lasts us like an hour and a half, but yeah, uh, you, you're constantly like you, you you go back and you're like, Oh man, I drank like two and a half pints. <laughs> Plus obviously when you're working hospitality, generally you get draft drinks for yeah. now. So yeah, see, I mean, I've spent a lot of time in the casino and draft drinks yeah. are free, and yeah, so it's the same. Anyway, sure. oh, one, one last thing, because we were on the travel thing there, uh, I was talking to a good friend of the podcast, Fraser Yuri, earlier on this week. He's, sure, out, he's out in Sweden, and he, he showed me, he says he's just been to his favourite soda factory and he stocked up, and he showed me some unreal stuff that looked amazing, and he says he's going to be back over for relatively soon. We're going to get him on as a guest, and he's going to bring us some stock over. So, some uh, nice. so I'm just stock, I'm calling stock. that out. Cheers for us. Calling it out on the podcast so that you can't get away with no doubt. Actually, here's one for Fraz, but like before we go on I the next drink, in Norway, um, Sweden, Norway, same things, you know. I think it is actually. Um, <laughs> the, what I was going to say is that I used to the, the studio I used to work in that Fraz and his band used to rehearse at. Uh, just because of the snow right now, I wonder if he remembers. You have both been to visit me when I worked there. And there was like a sh- this shitty little, it wasn't even like a recording CCTV. It was just a camera that you could see outside, but it was like black and white. You had to tune all the contrast up in it to actually be able to see yeah. anything. And like one one time, it like if Fraz's band were in, they would leave p- pure late. And so would the, the other band that were in at the time they were friends with, um, Marvel Heights, which is my friend Sarah's band. And, uh, it was like I didn't really mind because I would like be able to watch like if I was a doing work until twelve, I would be able to like throw the Montreal game on and like I could like clean up and listen to the hockey. And uh but I just seen like all these kind of figures, like people like diving behind motors and stuff, and like th- and they were having like the most like the almighty snowball fight. 
And I was just like, feel jealous because like I could just jump out, but then I'm like, then I'm inviting them to like stay longer and fuck about. <laughs> and I was like, I just kind of want these guys to fucking go home, man. But like, it was like one of those ones that like from one of the movies, we were just like, this is like the great. Why is that not happen? Why are people now out there just like, having big New York things? Did yeah, they not? I, saw that. I saw the video of that. Anyway, let's move on to our next drink. Uh, Who's bringing it? Uh, Al, Al's bringing us one from, what from, you the, brought, from the Emerald Isle, I believe. No, no, no that's me. Was that yours? Uh, I yeah, was sorry, for you. sorry. I was bringing AG Bars, brand new acquisition. <laughs> so we go with yours, Nick? No, we're going with yours. Nah, yeah. yours. Yeah, we go with yours. Uh, your Rubicon sparkling mango. Rubicon. The next next hit you be a bit of, a bit of a spoiler there. Oh, before yeah. we get to the origin, it is made by bars now. Obviously, they acquired it, but the story goes that it was made by two guys working at Coke down in Milton Keynes. And yeah, I'm sure I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with this one. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm familiar. With it. I enjoy it a bit. Con, I really yeah, do. Actually, I, I mean, it's like a soft. I thought it was like a like a. They do flat. still, yeah, they do still in the cartons, small like by being a size cartons, and they do the big cartons. But that that was my first introduction. I messed with a mango, and it was very. A very uh, thick juice, if you know what I mean. Ah, yeah. Oh, is it? Syrupy. Syrupy. Ah, it's very syrupy. Um, and the lychee was good too. But this is the sparkling. I mean, they've basically got, I think, every flavor that they do still, they've got sparkling. I, I, know, I know we've got lychee in, in the fridge. In the fridge oh, I first had the, the, the still version of this at the Glasgow Mela um, in like Kelvin Grove Park, the sort of multicultural festival that they used to do before COVID. Um, and they were there was like a Rubicon stall, and they were giving it out in the like little like shot glass kind of things. And I, I remember just on a sort of isolated occurrence, I was just like, "Oh fuck, that's what that is!" Like I've always seen this, and like it's always in like news like your, local, your local convenience stores always have Rubicon. Yeah, we know hey, what, though, man, Like just before we crack open, it's obviously a bit of a staple for a lot of people. I mean, not for me. Um, I've actually never had this sparkling mango. Not even a big fan of mango, so I'll be interested to see. I love mango. I'm into this. What happens here? So, as so it's just it's made with the finest hand-picked mangoes. I mean, it is so from AG Bar. So <laughs> from those, but those I don't think this has AG. I just have an AG Bar. Oh, no, it does not go down the bottom. Yeah, but it says it says Milton Keynes. Is bars got a plant in Milton Keynes? Maybe that's they, maybe where they grow their mangoes. <sighs> let's let's crack us open. Oh, that's, oh, carb- yeah, that's carbonated. That is strong. That is that is that's mental. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a wee bit more artificial than I remember. Yeah. I'm it's not a lot. That is, I drink that is quite a lot garbage. of innocent mango mango smoothies just now. The kids love it, so I, it's just in the fridge and I drink it. So I'm definitely feeling this a wee bit more artificial. Definitely get some artificial flavors in there, but I still quite like it. I'm going in for a second taste. I'm trying to like withhold yeah, the can Andy, to see if there's just some bold statement that says no artificial flavors. <laughs> but I'm not finding such a statement. Nah. So the first taste of that is well, it's eight percent mango puree. Eight percent mango puree is just a big shout there. It's way like it's the the the, the fake mango is like so upfront in this. I'm thinking it may be something that would be kind of good, like if you mixed it with something else. Yeah, I think this tastes a bit like lemonade with eight percent mango puree in it. Yeah, which is probably what it is. A basic, yeah, uh, basic. Like I feel like experience. this could be kind of decent. I mean, Andy, you're a fan of the mojito. I feel like you could make a decent mojito with this. Maybe I'd I probably... make a decent mojito with anything, mate. But I'm just saying, like, but on its own, no, it's good. It's it's. I think I it's weird. This, this isn't something I'm really into. Uh, I, 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 I like the, the carton, the still stuff. Okay, I, I would feel say like that's you can right. almost taste the separate drinks in it, like the fizzy drink Fizz. and the syrup. There's like two separate things. It's like they've just been pulled in. Maybe they're even a wee bit separated. Was there still like a, a divide in the can? You're going to wee bit no. of both. Oh, uh, mango. Mango carbonate. Like, not that I know what there probably is, but not that's widely known. I, I, you know, fizzy no. mango. Is like is mango like a, a prominent flavor in something like a lilt or something like that? Do you know what lilt is? Such a, lilt is just like it's 
Lil is some bullshit, man. Lil's getting nothing. It's like, like you're saying, it's like, what flavor is this? Like, it's, uh, it's totally tropical. You're like, that's, that's not an ingredient. I need, to, I need the name of a food, please. <laughs> well, it was like that seven up from last week. The cocktail exotic. Trash, man. Like, it's like, yeah. but then, well, seven up mojitos just say seven up mojito, but that's obviously money. Hey, Al, what are you, you scoring up? I pretty low, mate. I don't, I don't think I'll return to that anytime soon. I'd be interested to try some of the other flavors just because I like to try everything, but yeah, it's probably gonna fall short of a two, but a one point nine from me. I, I don't mind it. I really, really don't mind it. Um, ah, it's not. I mean, the only reason I'm not shouting at people to go out and buy it is because they've probably already tasted it. So I'm going to give it a two point six. Strong. Here he comes. I just the, the the harbinger of death. I just think that this is. I mean, right. People see, see before you give it your score. I'm just going to say you own the highest and the lowest scores. You have got such wild swings on this. You got bipolar when it <laughs> comes to. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna look you dead in the eye. If you're looking for a sparkling mango drink, it's probably that. But, but why you would be, why you would be looking for such a drink? I don't know. And I'm gonna look at all of you in the eye. I think there's some all YouTube watchers right now. I'm gonna say 0.9. That's a rubbish drink. I think there's some valid in what you're saying is see mango. See if I want mango. You're right, Andy. I'll have mango juice or I'll have a mango smoothie. It doesn't really have and for that reason, I kind of think the lychee is gonna blow goats too. Yeah, yeah. So, so the the average score there for Rubicon Mango is one point eight. One point eight. That sounds about right. Come on, uh, as but well, ju- I just, think. just, 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 just. I need to touch on that. You've given that zero point nine. You've scored that lower than Fago, Kiwi, and Strawberry. Yeah, Fago had some charm to it though. No, a lot. Say this right. Like, give me, oh, give you me gave it a zero point seven. Give me like, <laughs> it's not, it's not exciting radio, right? But give me like. 0.9. What what have I scored like just above that? Well, I can give you something you have scored 0.9. In fact, right. there's two things you've scored 0.9. Cherry Coke. Yes. Okay. And what the Fanta, the apple and cactus one we did with uh, Emma from STV. Just exactly. Give me what was what was uh what was just Fago was that? Fago was 1.1. Yeah. And then you did you oh you've got a couple of 1.2s. Levi Roots, you got a 1.2. I'd and have then, the Levi Roots before that, definitely. And then you uh, gave the OG. The OG football special, a 1.3. Right. Now listen, if we do that again, the other one, I will, a 1.3, is that what you said? For football special. It's burned in my mind now. So when Seamus McDade accepts our offer and comes on the show, we can say that up front. 1.3. It sucked. Yes, no, we, I've, 1. I've, 1.4 was the average, by the way. We have a wee bit of crisis of... Uh, Andy, are you sitting on any football special in the, in the stash? Uh, yes, both the OG and the Last new, night. the new, the new American brood. In light of certain certain cultural events in the soda game, yes. I am keen to revisit football special because well, th- th- there is the new version. Game. The new version is a new drink. It's different. It's, it's not the same drink. It's like the same bottle as the the, the, okay. the cola that currently sits on the top. And I, and so, I want to say before we before if anyone's looking like like we said before we can't be bought. And Mr. McDade didn't give us this for free. We bought no, us for no, no, no. Andy bought us for his own money. <laughs> we bought this for shut up you. We collectively bought this <laughs> mentally and physically. Uh, so if it's we, a 1.3 again, I will say that to his face. I'm not we we do have we've got quite a bit of McDades to get through. We've got so the 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 glass bottle football special. We've got the orange cream. I'm excited the, for that. The cream soda. <laughs> Yeah, and, yeah, and the banana. I mean, I want to try that. I, I will say this, right? I know, I know, like for people watching that have watched the show. I mean, this is the tenth one. We've done a special. We've done over fifty drinks now, easily. I would that imagine. was our fifty-fifth drink there that we just did. We're rattling through this, and I know some people are maybe thinking, "When are they going to do like Iron Brews and the normal ones?" And it's like, look, we'll drip them in. Don't worry about it. The main thing is we're trying to bring like some drinks to the table at the start to, to show off how cultured we are and where we get these mad things from. Well, actually, we should we should maybe touch on that. We, we've, we've chatted about maybe doing another wee live event um, and we talked about maybe doing a wee, a wee trivia night. 
where, where we do some pop culture trivia. And, and we talked to us earlier, and maybe that's an opportunity for us to rattle through some of your, your standards. That'd yeah, be good. Do that. That'd be good. Yeah. I mean, Travis Scott and McDonald's, I'm sure I can go in the stand in and do a quiz. <laughs> cool, that's, it's the same thing, isn't it, really? Um, uh, but I'm always I'm always keen for some uh, for some trivia. Like so, d- all right, just just while we're here, then what would be your own mastermind? What's your special subject, Al? If, if I want to win it, <laughs> um, I mean, how how specific can you get? Or do they get oh, a wee bit crazy specific? Like, I, I mean, it's I mean. I, I mean, I wouldn't just say music. I probably probably two R and B. Probably, R- 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 oh, yeah, probably, probably BPMs like, of uh, <laughs> famous R and C R and B songs. We know that. <laughs> uh, you'd, be on, you'd be on you bet. You're like uh, one ten. Real quick, what do you think? Uh, I'm going to Google this right. Let's just see if you've got this. I mean, I've got Serato open beside me. Right. Okay. <laughs> I, I want Nell, Nelly. Uh, ride with me. BPM one hundred three. Uh, it's close to that. Don't tell Oh, I'm guessing. I'm, I've got one. It's 102 or 103. Mine is no, you need to pick one. It's Mastermind. But mine's ripped from vinyl, so uh, it's, I think mine sits at 102. He's right, it's 102. Oh, I was oh, one off. Oh. It was one off. It was to me. Oh, so good. <laughs> the only thing is, in recent times, since music has become uber digital, like every Travis Scott record is essentially 75. Ah, yeah, they're all the same. <laughs> that, the talent for... But I used, to, I used to hear people, I used to watch guys DJ sometimes and they would put something on, like have a record play and put the next one on and I was just looking at it and go like, okay, show me this. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I actually pitched records up and you had 8% on a Technics. So 8, 8%, 8% pitch from like 95 beats a minute doesn't get you to like 118. But yeah. be my <laughs> <laughs> what, is, like, what would yours be, Andy? Um, pop to answer the question. I think that's a safe bet for me. I don't know what mine would be actually fucking useless knowledge. Um, maybe maybe shoes actually sneakers, sneakers, yeah, sneakers, sneakers certainly of the the nineties and early two thousands era. I, I genuinely don't like. I don't think I could have like a specialist subject. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you know like? I'd, I'm just maybe you don't, but just to get so specific, wouldn't you know like loads of death cab for cutie stuff? If, like, if that's if were to talk about like Blink One Eight Two, maybe. Yeah, I would know. I would be Trial probably able to Blink One Eight Two members. I would probably be able to like, uh, oh fuck, I wouldn't know that. But I'd, I'd probably like get like lyrics and what song was on what album and that kind of thing. Or I used to be able to. I used to be able to do number ones. Like you give me a date and I'd be able to tell you what was number one there. But I fucking stopped remembering them in two thousand. Maybe you know what was number one in your when you were born. The Tainted month, love the by soft so. What was yours though? It was was it the, number one the day I was born? Mm-hmm. Google it, man. Carry on, and I'll just. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'll keep. I'll keep everybody on. It's things. something rubbish. I've done it before. It's something rubbish. Um. Oh, oh no, that's pretty, that's actually pretty good. I mean, it's not for modern times because I'm a bit old, but it's uh, "Down Under" by Men at Work. <laughs> if you know that song. Ah, do you come from a land down under? Down under. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the the uh, mine was uh, George Michael and uh, Aretha Franklin. I knew you were waiting. That's not bad. Go. And then the, this is. Oh, it's, oh, I can't remember. No, that's not it. Joe's. Oh my God! You know what was the day after I was born? Because the way the charts work, it's like the first of February, then the fifteenth of February. The day after. <laughs> Imagine this for a swing like that. Oh, will George Michael and Aretha still be at number one, or will it be Benny King? Stand by me. Must that's not much wrestling. That's, that's a big swing. That's George, a big George Michael, like George Michael and Aretha, was a song that nobody's heard of to stand by me. Yeah, but it must have been culturally, culturally relevant. So you think that's when uh, the film came out? Probably something like that. Uh, uh, possibly. A lot of the times back then, it was like um, adverts. Adverts, yeah. I mean, it still happens, like, or it's yeah. a performance on a what do you, uh, the X Factor. Super Bowl. Super Bowl, yeah. Was, who won the Super Bowl? Uh, the weekend. Tampa Bay. <laughs> the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tampa Bay Lightnings. What's your and man? The, uh, is, Tom who Brady. Is Tom Brady. Tom it. Brady and Rob Gronkowski. Is Tom yeah. Brady the, the old guy? 43 keep, years old. He's yeah. been at 10 Super Bowls. Is the other guy I'm thinking of, Peyton <laughs> Manning? Yeah, Peyton Manning. He, he, was, he was a year or two older than Tom Brady, and he retired a good few years ago. 
And Peyton Manning was like the guy that was Tom Brady was, wanted wasn't it? Tom Brady yeah. v Peyton Manning for ages. And now but then Tom, Tom Brady just stayed and was longer. Like, so uh, was Tom Brady the, the guy from uh, from the New England New Patriots that yeah, went, yeah, yeah. he went down to Florida? Yeah. So I, I read some mad stats on it. Um, Tom Brady has got a higher percentage of winning Super Bowls than Steph Curry has of making three three point throws. But that's a ski with statistic. Well, no, he's, there's been 21 Super Bowls. Right. Tom Brady's been to 10 of them. Right. I know, but it's, it's like, like 40, but it's 47%. Yeah. But I suppose, I mean, it's, but that, I think that's the whole nature of American football. Don't like compare they to only play like 13 games. That's what I was going to yeah. say. There's like far less games a season, far less like traveling. And then in terms of individual players, like how many minutes you play per game, it's, it's a yeah, very yeah. strange metric right. i was watching like, i think today and somebody was saying they were talking about super Bowl, talking about tom brady and they were like he's really good at what he does granted like he's great he can but he's not a great athlete jordan yeah. was a great athlete wayne Gretzky, these are all great athletes this guy just gets on and throws the ball and has an amazing defense what would you consider the like the american sports basketball baseball baseball football, hockey, hockey american football that's that's the top four yeah would you they're the top four yeah. I, I wouldn't put MLS American football there. would be like the one out of those four that I would get rid of if you had to take one out. It's, it's the biggest. It's the one biggest. that they pay the Which most. Which is mad, but like I know it's the biggest, but I just mean like the, that is like baseball to me feels more like American. Yeah. And I mean, we, weirdly, the numbers of people who watched the, the Super Bowl was down this year 5.7 million. 5.7 million people who have been locked in the house with fucking mm -hmm. nothing to do didn't watch the Super Bowl. That's interesting, that, actually. That, and it was two of the best, super, two like the, the big up and comer quarterback versus this old guy who's the greatest ever. Um, but I'd read some stats again. It was like saying how Tom Brady was the greatest athlete and he'd won 10 world championships. But that's that thing that Americans do where they say a world championship, but it's only fucking Americans who compete. Yeah. Um, I and think everyone's few... forgot about that guy, the 10 band bowling guy. You know the guy I'm uh, talking about? Well, the guy, who's, the guy who was on top of the, the leaderboard was Joey Jaws Chestnut. Who's that? Hot dog eating competition. Ah, that's not um, sport, is it? I know, isn't, but it's, he, isn't the World some... Series of Baseball named after a newspaper, though? Is that not? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think it is. Like What's that? that? Um, the World Series of Baseball was called that because it was originally to do a newspaper, the World or something. But ah, it was, okay. I, th I can't remember who came out top, but it was like, uh, oh no, it was Joey George Chestnut, but then you had like um, Rafael Nadal, who'd won like 13 Australian Opens and... Uh, is it Henri Richard that won 10 Stanley Cups? Or is it Maurice Richard that won 10? Uh, I, think I think it was Henri. He was, um, he was around for the younger. and then. But, the but it was all like American sports now. Mm. But then, so they'd kind of dingied everything else. Like Brian Giggs has won 13 Premiership medals. Well, do you think it's weird, right? That, like, this is something that uh, Jim, my stepdad, is always talking about. He's like, he, he makes a case for someone like Jordan not being the greatest athlete ever because it's like, in his opinion, he's like, well, these guys performing in like a microclimate of like the United States and Canada, so to speak, whereas something like football is like genuinely at a high level worldwide. I don't think there's any doubt Jordan was the best basketball player ever. There's no, I don't think there's doubt about that because there's just not that same, like it's not like the argument of people saying the English Premiership, is it better than Serie A? But, or is it but don't you think like something like there is an argument to be said of like Muhammad Ali or like Maradona or someone is like they're like it is conceivable that people some people over this side of the world might not know who Jordan is. Oh, 100 percent 100 percent Completely but conceivable that like you go like, what do you think of the that that player Jordan? And they're just like Jordan who? Like or even that some people that's the only person they know, and it's through just like the relevance in popular culture. But oh, here's one of probably some people who have bought the shoes and they're like, I didn't even really play basketball. Doing it as insane that like but it's weird that like America like have these kind of like world champions. You don't worry about me, Andy, I get buckets. They're like world get, champions I, who but they don't compete around the world, so to speak. But they here's, yeah. here's another one uh, in terms of talking about like measuring athletes against each other. Surely mixed martial arts is like right, the point of entry is are you good at battering people? Yeah, cool. How <laughs> good are you? Really good. Welcome to the world stage. Yes, it is like, you know, the UFC is basically, it's considered a league, but it's actually just one company. But they've got the money to seek out and bring in what okay. is essentially the best talent. 
So you've got fighters from all around the world in there solo. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like really guys like But it's crazy. I mean, like you get into the best athlete. Well, who's the best athlete? Is it like a Demetrius Johnson who's like a hundred pounds or is it like a John Jones? Well, it's like uh, well, who's who would be the heavyweight champ right now? What do you think the hardest sport to yeah. compete in as what how do, how do I know? Formula One? <laughs> The hardest sport to compete, like no, like outside of like money, like putting you in, like putting. Well, I don't think Formula like, One's that easy. Even if they just went, uh, look, there's like thirty nine years old. I don't think I'm jumping in. I mean, what do you think would be like? Like, let's say for example, right? I put you in. Ow, I put you in like a League Two Sunday football team. How long before you get found out? Probably, like, you probably get to half time. <laughs> you probably get to half time. You know what a backhanded compliment that was. If I put you, if I put you in, like for example, are you talking? Did you say Sunday League or did you say then, like? I believe it's not like pure second division, but like if, if you, if it is interesting, if like, could you do a lap in Formula One yeah, where it, like crashing the motor? No, you couldn't. But then there's no, loads of sports you couldn't play. You couldn't play high level competitive table tennis. This is what I'm trying you, to get. Like, what do you think? I've real, obviously these people are all trained to be at this level, but what do you think is what's harder in terms of like being hockey. fit? I'm, well, hockey. I'm getting to this. Ah, is like, is ice hockey like one of the hardest sports to play in terms ah. of how quick it is? Do you think you could hang on a race horse long enough to for something to glide? <laughs> I'm having a good day, but I mean, at least he's, he's doing something. <laughs> Staying on. Or what's, what's that? What's what about, what about dart? Is then you could like. Walk yeah, you could and, like, and be like, like right until you threw the first one and be like, yeah, yeah. It bounces the like bolt. You have to just like every time you you throw one and people are like, oh, it's a bad one. You just have to sell it and be like, oh, fuck, it's just, just like, like me. Like, 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 that's the bit in the office, the British <laughs> one. Shit um, on those. But, what do you like? You know, okay, before we go on, what do you think? Name a sport you think you could get. You could almost pass. You could convince people. Very, no, I just stand somewhere in that line <laughs> and then just wait for the whistle would blow three seconds after the snap and they go, this guy's played a full quarter. I no one's going to be able to do even was be a kicker. The guy in front of him and hold him down. You could maybe just be a kicker. Because all you got to do is a punt it. That's it. I know, mate, but if you ever watch like videos of guys... <laughs> that guy's bad. nailed. <laughs> it off to the side. Um, <laughs> but no, yeah, just... Yeah. Just, just to before we, oh, I mean, hockey is the bit because the only sport I can play. Um, but surely MMA as well. Like, if you don't know what you're in, you'd last, you're getting flying need. I feel like friends. At least, at least your instincts as a human would be like, just go the way, go the way of everything. Yeah. Like, for at least 35 seconds before someone just puts you up against the fence and just but, chokes you. But just, just before we do move on, there was a thing that they'd done, and it, it might be in early, late 80s or early 90s, where they tried to find out who the best athlete of all time was. And they put Wayne Gretzky. Uh, I don't know how, but, I, but they, they did. They did like basically a decathlon type style. Was Gretzky thing. another man? I Gretzky fucking ruled a lot. He, he was outspinning them. He was throwing things further. He was he was class at it. I reckon I could be like you could put like you could get you could conceivably all three of us convince someone that you're a baseball player. Because there's a weird no, stat, right? No, listen, there's a weird stat in baseball, especially so. There's two different leagues: there's the National League and the American League, right? If you're and, gonna, if you're gonna, and there's one of the leagues that there's one of the leagues where the um, can't remember the, how they define it, but it's like you can just be a batter. Mm -hmm. And the way that there's a weird stat that like if you hit one in every like. Something I'm just making a number up here, but it's like if you can, if you hit the ball one in every 26 times, you will be, or you score a run one every 15 strikes or whatever, yeah. you will be in the top, like fucking top 10 of baseball players of all time, kind of thing. So I conceivably, you could go up, miss one in the e, and, and just do your lap, it just be like, oh, well, I missed that but, thing, and get so, through a whole game. People just like. That after you never really had it. I did. Just, I we'll just to, shout, to shout it back to Fraz Yuri, we, had, we did a tour of America once and we had a day off. We went to a putting green and they had baseball batting cages That's at the back. And the the it's an electronic picture and there's a, a professional button on that. You're never, never hitting one of them. But that's the thing. Even if you do hit it, your wee arms are just breaking. No, but you could, if, but that's what I'm saying. Even the pros don't hit it. I beat the star. Nah. So that's what I'm saying. You could, you could like go and get a check and like 
I did my job today. We yeah, talked. I suppose he so, swung the bat, missed the it. Was, the guy throwing the ball is as good at, is essentially as good at throwing the ball as the guy is supposed to be hitting it. He's it's so weird watching a guy throw it and going, I hope this guy can hit it. It Doesn't makes it like the most the game. if the guy throwing it is having a rough one mm-hmm. and ma- and makes you walk. Yeah, like throw so good. Yeah. You could still score. If the guy next after you smashed a home run, you can score a run by not even hitting the ball. I'll wrap this up by saying we've only touched the surface of this, but as I'm thinking about this, there's so many elite level sports that this conversation like if you just if you just say the word winter Olympics and think yeah, how long yeah, would yeah. last in a ski jump well, all I was thinking of was the, the fucking what do you call it, the bobsleigh? Like yeah, pure like, Jamaican style. Yeah, Maybe we should start a three-man bobsled team. Yeah, I've got two sledges. We could probably do this. <laughs> three of us, and what we'll do is we'll put about 60 cans of Levi Roots in the front <laughs> of it to just get it going. Just yeah, give us the Jamaican vibes. Right. Bring some as cultured guys yeah. that we are, I'm going to take you on a little vacation to a place we've never been before. It's called Ireland. Kidding on. We were there every week. And just, just before you, we do get started on it, just to shout, hark back to the leaderboard. Uh, in third place, Mexican cola from Doritos. In second place, guava flavor from Doritos. But in joint first place, Fritz cola from Germany. McDade's original cola from Ireland, and Club Rock Shandy from Ireland. And we've got so, another Irish entry into the game here. Translation: Sedona, a sparkling apple drink. This is a lot to live up to. Bites I mean, into thirst. Let me give you a quick history of Sedona. Used to be made by the Boomers Company. Same apples have been in it. The cider. Maybe that's why it's called Sedona. Yeah. Maybe they were just trying to use the excess apples up, but it's now not with them, and this was somebody else. So, sparkling apple drink could be an apple ties. See, I, I, I remember mean, getting. I can't even think of another apple drink that is maybe decent. First, first time I ever had Rock Shandy, I was like, "That's amazing! I'm going to go and find out if there's any other cool Irish drinks." And this was one of the next ones I ever had. So, I think uh, you've had this. Yes. Interesting. That. Well, but I mean, quite quite some time, quite some time ago. Uh, let's we get let's in. On, I don't generally. I don't mess with. Apple See, I like apple ties. I'm a big fan of apple ties. I'm a big fan of apple ties. I mentioned on the show before about uh, going to the steak restaurant and uh, Jim getting upset about the apple ties not being on the menu. Because yeah, you slagged me because I said you only get apple ties in fancy restaurants. I remember that. I've got thoughts. Oh. Straight off, the bat, I've got thoughts. It's. It's not apple ties. I wonder it if it's quite cidery. It's very it's, cidery. Yeah. But also, and that that's it's not very sweet in that sense. Mm-hmm. I wonder if there's a and again, but my first thought was, is there a time where the people in Ireland say oh, Sedona used to be amazing? Used yeah, to have yeah. so much food in it. Off the bat, this is missing something, but it is ciderish. This seems did to me. Start, did it start as just a non-alcoholic cider? So that's sixteen grams of sugar, guy. Um, that's what I was thinking there. Is this is like, this is like, you, you want you want a cider on a sunny day, but you're driving. And but you, but if you wanted a cider on a sunny day and you're driving, you're not reaching for a apple ties. No, a well, you have, that's a different animal. You have you could be having this. Oh, apple. Okay, okay. I thought you meant like what is a actual good non-alcoholic cider. I mean, copper bird do non-alcoholic. I think, but this is. I would be surprised to not like to taste this as against a non-alcoholic cider. See, for me, Bilmers, I mean, maybe just obviously that's who they used to mess with. But for me, Bilmers is quite a rough cider. Like it's not in the upper echelons, but I like that. See, when I'm drinking cider, I like to hark back to the days of nasty is, cider. Is, is, here's is something is still a thing. Is Magnus still? still? Because I remember Magnus was massive, like Magnus pint glass with ice. It was a, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the big thing. They're still a sponsor of Celtic. They still like they're the main alcohol sponsor. So they're really they're dropping down there. Eh? <laughs> they are now. Eh? <laughs> um, what I was going to say though is, see, see if I put this in a glass of ice and when here's a glass of cider, you would you you wouldn't even quite a mild cider, but still you wouldn't, you wouldn't go that's a glass of cider. cider. Yeah, you yeah. wouldn't go that's an apple ties, you cheeky bastard. You'd yeah. be like, thanks. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that you could serve to kids at All New right. Year. This okay. is a kids at New Year. Here's a wee, here's a wee cider for you. Here's a wee cider for you. I'm, a, I'm gonna go. Can I go in? There's yeah, not much to say on that. See, see if, see if this was a non-alcoholic cider. I would probably be like, yo, the, like, this is, like this is close to this is as close to a good 
taste insider, apple cider that you could get. Now, it's meant to be a soft drink. And you know, not so much a soft drink, but like a soda. And uh, it's it's not on that apple ties vibe for me. It's not bad though, but it's it's not it's not great. It's a two point three for me. Let me ask you something. Has apple ties appeared on the show already? Did I miss oh, this? Oh, right, that's what I'm just checking. Oh, you've been on every episode. That's so true. You have missed it. <laughs> We have like 55 drinks in, man. And I think about 15 of them had one show, so <laughs> forgive me. Um, the more I, the, right off the bat, I thought it was lacking a sweetness. Then I settled into that groove, like you're saying, of this being more cider esque. The more I drink it, the more I like it. I'm, I think I'm, I'm tipping the scale over past a three. I think I'm going 3.1 in this. I think this is worth your time. Yeah. I mean, I'm definitely I'm in agreement with you, and I think like the, the wee tagline on it bites into thirst. It is definitely that glass of ice, sunny day, it's jamming, um, and I'm going 2.8. I don't That's disagree with you that much, I suppose, but the, it is more just the thing is see if I'm going sunny day, glass of ice, may as well be a Boomers or a Magnus. I was driving that day, but well, in that case, you would have much rather had an apple ties. Yeah, <laughs> you meant to do a Boomers and just. Chill? Ride your, wee, ride your bike up the road. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the average score for Sedona. It's a green backdrop. 2.7. 2.6. <laughs> One week I change it and it's a uh, good <laughs> <the> next minute. <laughs> it's actually it's in a shed. shed. It's in, it's in Mark, Jen- Mark Jenkins' shed. Mark Jenkins. Um, I quite like that. That's 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 boring, I, I thought I was bringing the heat. I thought I was going to have like another like... He's going to do it, do it for Ireland and smash that bold wide open. Maybe it's just another drape it in the green and gold. Maybe we should check that. Maybe it's the no. wrong part of Ireland. No, I think. Uh, I don't Dublin. know. Nah, Dublin. They fucked yeah, up. That's the thing, actually. I don't, where is? Oh, where wait is a minute. From? Wait a minute. It's a Britvic. So you know is club, feel, though. You know how I feel about a lot of Britvic, though. Club? Club's Britvic? I know, but Pepsi is trash. In fact, when the merch store gets up, the Nick Half Chain signature Pepsi has trash t shirts will be there. <laughs> I've never heard you say that on the show. I know. We're already getting sued for Pepsi and it's not what, even live what, yet. What was the t shirt I thought of was, it must have been Shani. Put a I Shani logo on the front and it said Random, ba- random said, Berries. Uh, well, yeah. No, what's one, what was the one? Random Berries was the one. That's too creepy. <laughs> too creepy. Oh, that's a bit creepy. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Invented the adjective grape. What was it? Wasn't it random berries? What was it? It was phantom berries. Phantom berries. Phantom berries. Phantom berries. Yep. Phantom berries. Um, so, right, so this episode, we, we're recording on what is this Wednesday? Uh, and this will be going out on Sunday. Sunday's Valentine's Day. My birthday. Oh, is it your birthday? I, didn't I please, uh, if everyone wants to just send me like cash and uh, presents and sweets, you have a, you have a Venmo or a cash app. Yeah, I've got a, uh, what's the thing called? Buy me a coffee. Aye, swipe, up. swipe up, yeah. S- swipe up. <laughs> you, you been... Still into that Johnny Walker. Is there? Yeah, he's getting any plans for Valentine's Day? I suppose that you'll have some plans if it's your actual birthday. Mm. You're like a better of some plans. I've uh, I've already ordered my birthday dinner. Nice. Well, what I wanted to do was I wanted a kapow. You've been a kapow, Andy? Uh, I've not been to kapow off. Had I did it when it was an SWG3. I wanted to get the Kapow like the takeaway thing, but I realized that they weren't doing it. The, the funny thing is, I'm expecting half of my Instagram feed of the restaurants that I follow to all go, Oh, the Valentine's offer coming up. But being my birthday, I didn't want to waste any time. I wanted to make sure I got my order in for somewhere, so I put a big order into uh Sacred Tom Tacos. So okay. I've got like 80 quid of tacos going. <laughs> Sick. Did um, you get your toilet? Uh, on Valentine's Day. But the, I mean, to be fair, like, I like Sacred Tom, but it is expensive. They're no joking. It's, what one's Sacred Tom? It's the one I'm in Paul's show. Uh, uh, I've still not I've still every time I go, it's shut. Really um, good. Um, but that is the only thing I'm doing. I think I might be able to convince Amy to let me watch a film as well. So not See, much going on. Interesting that it's your birthday as well because you get to sort of like you get a wee bit of a you get a bit of extra juice in terms of what you do. Whereas, I mean, maybe I don't want to sound sexist, but for me, Valentine's is traditionally leans towards um, lady. 
already. Um, Do you know what? Something about Valentine's that does annoy me with it being my birthday is that um, people don't a come lot of the restaurants. No, but a lot of the restaurants do like they're always booked up, yeah. and they're always like set menus. And so, over the last maybe 10, 12 years, I have like actively not went out on my birthday. You should, oh, your birthday, okay, but you shouldn't go out on Valentine's Day anyway. It's too, that's trash, yeah. man. Oh, no, but that's what I mean. It's like I want to go out on my birthday and like, yeah. for, like have the pure birthday treatment, but like I choose not to because I'm like, I don't want anything to do. I don't want to be like lumped in with this fucking Hallmark fucking holiday. Do you know Folks, see you well, your pals. Oh, look yeah. at those losers, man. They've got any bud. I'll tell you a loser <laughs> story. I hate seeing us in primary school. I think it was like primary six uh, or it's primary five. Way a VL by this point. Anyway, the. Uh, the school were doing this thing. It was like, it was like the pure Ralph Wiggum episode. They're like, right at like, th- th- you bring in a Valentine's card, and then you would like post it in like this fucking paper mache post box, and then someone would go around and like hand out yep. all the shit. And I got no Valentine's cards, wow. none, right? And like, I was like sad. And the teachers like, Sorry. the teachers like, what's up? Are you sad you never get any Valentine's card? And I was like. Didn't even get a birthday card either. And like at that point, it was like, it's one of those things where it's like in school, everyone would always get like a pure happy birthday for the teacher. And like, oh, it's, it's next birthday day, everyone. Let's say happy, sing happy birthday. None of that because everyone was too excited about this whole like Valentine's card situation. So like obviously, we're caught out. And then she tried to pure go, oh, everybody, it says next birthday. So like, yeah, let's all sing happy birthday. I was like, you know what? Just drop him, man. Just leave me. <laughs> just drop him. Just fuck off, Mrs. McConaughey. We, we did a hang in school and it was a, did you, did you do Young Enterprise? Like, uh, I don't know if you had it. No, she so, does. So, so me and my, me and my, we, that was we had a team. Else. No, me, we, we had a team, it was see how much money you can make around Valentine's Day. And one of the, the other team that we were going against, they were doing fucking rosies and selling them, they would deliver them in the classrooms. And we were like, fuck that. Me and my mate Chris, uh, and we get two, two nice wee birds in the class as well. And we were like, let's set up a kissing booth, charge 20p a kiss. Uh, Good luck. We made thousands. The school was going mental about it, man. Like, folk were late back for lunch and all that because they were all trying to winch us. Yeah, we experts live over here, man. <laughs> I know. All right, well, I'd like to see. I'd like to see the receipts of that. Twenty p a kiss. And you made thousands. No, I don't. I don't remember. We made a lot of money. We won it anyway. We beat those other that other mob. We made four pound eighty, <laughs> and they won because <laughs> nobody bought a rose. And I was in a VL anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> somebody paid for it as well. I think never get high in your own supply. You'll just take money out of the man. And do you, do you guys that. like genuinely uh, subscribe to Valentine's Day? Will you get your wife's uh, a, something? I'm doing a Valentine's Day quiz. That's so, play. Like, you spend the last year and a half avoiding your wife by going into the loft <laughs> and going on streams. No, she, she's actually she's going to do the quiz with me, and I'm going to do a round on me. So oh, right, okay. actually, one of the questions that I've already written is so who she was prove that she doesn't even know you. Aye, but that's that's interesting because one of the questions is what was the name of the girl that I first kissed. Mm. So not only is that going to prove if she knows me or not, but it proves well if she fucking listens to this podcast because that'll be out that moment. Yeah, I am testing her. Podcast. What about you? Al? You, you got to be something. No, no, no. I don't want to give the answer away again, but I know the answer to that question. Andy said it earlier. Do you remember it? What me? Who? Well, what Andy. Andy yeah. Skelly kiss. It was Mandy. Oh, oh man, the um, you can't. No, I mean, I'm just chill, probably do food and stuff. I remember last year. No, I've, are you like, is that a thing you do? You like, I'm not like, chill. Oh, food, oh, do you, are you gonna go like the chocolates and the flowers and the cards? No, last, year, last year, I hit the draw for the Valentine's Day Jordan ones and got it like a couple of days before it. And I just sent Helena the little screenshot that says got them from the sneakers yeah, app. Yeah, yeah. Like, right, they probably won't arrive in time, but <laughs> you get them in March. Like there you go, we're good here. But nah, just to be honest, mate, probably just go kind of like you, just go all out on food and some. Uh, I've, 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 I wouldn't be doing that if it wasn't my birthday. No, totally. That's <laughs> the thing. Although I did buy flowers, so I've already done that. Did you give them to yourself? Uh, she's already got them. Uh, right, let's let's move on with this last drink. I'm 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 excited about this one. I was bringing us our uh, bonus drink this week. This is the yeah. first uh, Chinese drink, I think. Is it Chinese? Going to be your country every time, man. What can I say? Um, yeah, that last one. What were you on Ups Korea? Wasn't it the the melon the thing? Watermelon like, Korea, watermelon yeah. Yeah. Please grab your. Um, I'll put this. I'm gonna put it right around. I put it this way. This is Arctic Ocean from China. Um, yeah, I had a quick question just to throw out there. Um, this is China. Product of yeah, China. Yeah, this is supposedly very old school in China. I think it maybe disappeared for a bit, and now they're back doing it. Um, I'm assuming. 
these, see when you buy these imported drinks, I'm assuming this, if you take this sticker off, it's got the ingredients, but all in Chinese. Well, this, they might not even have the ingredients. Depends what the, the requirements are. That, that, that covers the, the British requirements. Right, okay. I don't know what the, the Chinese requirements would That's be for. for that. So, yeah, just keep it away from direct sunlight. Because it's a vampire. <laughs> it's a gremlin. It's uh, quite well, a strange thing. The, it's a big oh, too. And that, this is the next thing is the old school OG, wrinkle. OG wrinkle with, a, with a gold finish on the orange can. I like yeah. that, man. I wonder what oh, it says. Wait, wait a minute. Top. Gold finish on the top, silver on the bottom. Look, mate. It's like the, the oof, I've just cracked the mic. Um, it's like the bottle of wine it's thing. Like isn't it? I didn't realize you bought a, a really cheap bottle of wine. <laughs> um, but yeah, the big boy can. No, it isn't. It's 330, but it's like, it looks like it should be the two fifty. It's slim line. Aye, aye. Chubby slim line. Line. I've still got that same empty can of Red Bull sitting on my desk. I actually saw a uh, Chubby Slim Line's a t shirt. We should get Chubby uh, Slim Line. That's what you should call each of us. Chubby, Chubby Slim Line. Uh, I actually saw friends of size arm. town, uh, John Blaine, was sampling a can during the week. So I hit him up and told him that if we would be, you know, the aficionados would be putting it to test this week. So did, did they give you he, any tasting notes? I'd say it was delicious, although he was experiencing the Rona. Ah, so he was ah, interesting. I talked about maybe getting him on the show, and he said he would not come on the show until he was back to full strength. When I see could... when I see the the thing orange soda, it just reminds me of Keenan and Kel. Oh, that, Remember that? That's, that's, Ooh, that no, 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 orange soda. I love the can though. I think the can's class, and I don't it's know. Beautiful. I like it. It's bold just... type face. It's thumbed ah. out, man. I mean, look at that. I mean, I think I think one of my first buds had that tattoo. <laughs> Didn't you know what it says? They had that. Yes, it says can. <laughs> it's, can. Me, it's it's so it says no. Chubby Slimly. Oh, hi, Chubby Slimly. That's what I was going. Going with. Right, let's crack this open. Right. So how do you do this? Oh you, man! You Whoa! Shh. We've got a right. mist on the hand. Well, quite a wide yeah. opening. Quite a wide awesome opening. On that one. A wide uh, opening. It's got a wide opening. How'd you so, off? Yeah, that's what she said. Right. Oh, I'm going to... oh, it's got a bit of a <clears throat> orange. Yeah. Smelt it. It's clean, but much fizzier. Aye. I don't know mm. if that's. I mean, that was some pop from that mm. ring pool. No, nah, it's actually quite good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's quite good. It's good. You know, it's reminding me of look is it though. Well, it looks uh, it looks like orange for sure. It's very much like look as it don't. I mean, this might second ingredient glucose syrup. Sidebar, <laughs> sidebar. I used to drink look as it don't a lot. I used to get one like in my way into the clubs, and I remember a guy who worked can or ball, the ball, the plastic squidgy ball, and uh, sidebar on the sidebar. And I remember look as it sweeties, the dextrose kind of energy sweets. Yeah, no, but this guy who was like a, he was like a chemist or he worked in pharmaceuticals. And I, I remember, I, okay, mate, it was a fucking drug dealer. Do you drink that? Like, you just drink that? And I went, ah, I just drink it. It's like my drink. He went, don't drink that, man. He went, that's like, he went, that's the worst, man. He went, maybe if you feel ill or something. He's like, is the reason that that's like in chemists mostly? Like, one of the, remember, he used to be like one of the yeah, only soft right. He was just like, he's like, don't, you can you, don't just drink that. He's like, juice, man. He used you to also used to be in chemist. Do you, do you remember when it used to have the? It, oh no, was it? Aye, it was the tin foil around the top of the glass bottles, or it came in the kind of yellow cellophane wrapped in a bottle as well. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I was gonna say you also used to get in chemist. You remember those lollipops that are also a whistle? Uh, yeah. And you and, and also in chemist you get the the barley sugar. Is that barley sugar? Yeah. Well, Let me see yeah. this right. Uh, actually, to pick up on, on your side bar, did I just noticed the other day in the supermarket they have. Orange Lucasade Zero. Why? I mean, obviously because that guy's protested since back then. He's like, this is this is death. Bizarre, isn't it? Anyway, but I like I I would uh, off the bat say Orange Lucasade doesn't count as a soft drink because it's like mm. clearly an energy drink. But then, what? Why would you not have Red Bull on the show? Still, because a an energy drink is not soft. It's not a soda. We are five star sodas. We're not five star fucking energy drinks. I I'll turn that as a soda. Happy to do a special. In fact, guys, get in touch if you want to on Instagram. Let us know if you so, want an energy drink special. About that we should do an energy drink special, right? Mm -hmm. But what I thought this is I thought about this, but I'm now developing the idea live on the show. All right, cool. is, um we should one we need to wait till we can all get back together. We should like maybe do it in conjunction with 
kind of like the election stream because we'll be up and, we'll and be see online. how late we can stay up. <laughs> like we should play computer games. Just we should put like the old like get a Mega Drive set up, play NHL, yeah. do something like that, and just because we'll be wild and just. <clears throat> why don't all... we? By the way, we still do like a fight companion for the UFC. That's good too. Yep. And then that'll That's keep you awake good. for the fight. Yeah. Like all the way to me. And Andy's got that big telly as well. <laughs> right. What I was saying about it the, the before Al jumped in on the sidebar was the our sidebars I, make the show. Listen, I don't think I don't think it was that, Al uh, I've taken over the sidebar. It's a mutiny in the sidebar. It's a coup d'etat of the sidebar. Sidebar t-shirts coming soon. <laughs> listen, sidebar and a sidebar. Um like you said, doesn't count. I do I'll need to do the research, but I don't think it counts. What does I, count though is this. This is I'd be more inclined to say look as I'd put look as the head of a balls out energy drink like Red Bull or Monster. But then then I'd I'd just refer you back to the rules. There's nothing in the rules that says that they can't count. But our name is five star sodas. Don't you think that obviously Andy's saying as well, this maybe from an ingredient standpoint, this is not far off a look as aid with the glucose and all that. Yeah. But, but it does say soda on it. Orange there's, soda. There's certain things like even Coke that's probably got so much caffeine in it that you're like, does that even count? Well, anymore? actually, to go back to the sidebar, talking about energy drinks, I seen the other day about advertising for Iron Brew Energy. And it said something like the real thing or some passion. I was like, hold on. Is this how you get around the sugar tax by becoming an energy drink? Mm. But there's still sugar tax on energy drinks. Is it the same? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Would, still uh, sugar tax because they've they've still. I need to speak to the minister of soda about this. <laughs> anyway, let's get into the, let's get into the, the the deep waters here. This is good. Yeah, it's, it, it tastes like something else, and I don't think for me it's not Ons Lucasid, but it definitely. How are you like, how are you feeling uh, with regards to uh, club club orange? Uh, I think club orange probably sneaks it. Nah, it's, it's, I don't. In my opinion, it's not even sneaking it. It's, I mean, this is good, but it's not coming close to that. I think it's up there, man. Again, it's strong, but Club Orange is, is very balanced. Right. It's very... I'll, right I'll, I'll go I'll, first. I'll, I'll, no, no, I've, I've not been first, so I'm going to gaze mine. I'm going oh, to 3.3. 3. 3. But it's still right. a good score. I'd still That's recommend actually it. exactly what I was going to say, 3.3. 3. Here we go then. I think, yeah, I pro- I'm actually going to go... I'm actually going to go 3.1 because... It's 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 good. It's worth a shout. Does much. Like, Let me say this right. I'd like to go to China. Really? Let me say and this. Stuff. I would. I'd like to go. I'd like to go to China. And uh, if I was in Beijing and out my depth, and I'm like, I need like a drink, and I look at the fridge, and I can't see anything recognizable, but I see this, I'll pick it up. Yeah, yeah. I call it the yeah. lifesaver. That's what it's going to take for you to pick that up. You <laughs> somehow find yourself in the middle of Beijing and can't find a can of Coke. <laughs> that like, takes, don't do it. Like, but I don't know if you know this now, but like, uh, China is a communist country, so more likely that the Kofola would be the. Just say you should back. just get this food on your arm in case you get stuck. What it just says can? It just says chubby slim <laughs> like. So just just to hop back to the scores, uh, Arctic Ocean Orange point Soda, three point two. I'm What's it? Strange name for it, orange soda. <laughs> what, what, what an orange soda from China is called Arctic Ocean. What is? Yeah, yeah. Um, just that that puts it in fifteenth place. By the way, that's that's what, that's the best drink of the day. Um, just above Big Red and just below Barks Root Beer. What was, know, the, what was the last the thing the other day? Sorry, there was two two you spoke at the same time, so I don't know what you said. I nearly picked a Big Red up the other day. Just I, I was kind of like. I don't know, I wanted to revisit it, but I didn't. See, I've I got a spare a... big blue and I nearly opened that, but I was like, nah, I can't do it, I can't do it. What were you uh, saying? I don't know. You said, what was the last? Oh, I was going to say, what was the last thing that we had that made it close enough to the top three? Uh, McDade's? No, that made it, like, never it made it into the top oh, three. Oh, never like, made it. Um, it wasn't a bump down. Big Red. Big Red... Uh, well, that, that place 15th one. and 16th, we've got this and then Big Red. Interesting. Um, the rest of them are all December. So we're still uh, giving people the goods, man. Yeah, I mean, we had Ramuni for the Christmas special. That's in sixth place. And then Bark Root Beer was also Christmas special. That's in 13th place. 
Um, but I mean, you can you can find the soda leaderboard at the link in the bio of our Instagram, uh, and you'll see it all the time. And occasionally, we will share the top ten maybe once we see some big changes. So, so on your imaginary drive home, what are you taking with you? I'm gonna I'm gonna go against the grain, and it's just I, you know what? I always judge this by how my palate is feeling after those four drinks, and I'm going back to Sedona. I, I just I knew, I knew I was going to agree with you. It's it's weird. I didn't give it the highest score of the day, but that's def the the Arctic Ocean is definitely a a one and done. The Arctic Ocean is definitely for me. This is the one. No, no real heavy hitters, but I did like I liked Stona, I liked Kafola, and I liked that. I did like them, yeah. but you, if you're asking me that ultimate question, it's uh, I'm gonna I'll probably finish the Sedona off tonight. I will say this on the Arctic Ocean as a sign off. If this was in a glass bottle. I, f- I feel like we would have treated that a wee bit kinder. I could see that being absolutely money. Mm-hmm. I'm just Again, saying, if that was not, it, I, I, it's still like, good. It's good man. Look at that board behind us. I know that's hells though. Yeah, that, those, the, those, what I'm the saying, the best. soda game. I, I may glass, go down, glass is the, the perfect receptacle. I may go downstairs and crack this open with a can of club orange. I'll just and go just head to head. Put them head to head and see see what I think. But, you know, it's gonna aye, to, sure. to me to me club on sales definitely is it's worthy of the five point five extra that I gave it. What is I mean, what is going what is going on in Ireland, man? They are just doing it upright, man. They are doing it upright, man. We, we do have... need to give Scotland a run through. We are we, I mean three Scotsmen here. We do need to do the bars run through at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, bars um, show maybe. Hey, may, maybe we do the bars on the quiz. We just do the full bars selection on a qu- on the quiz. We do I'm a sweet Scottish quiz. We do okay. the cream soda, the pineapple aid, the shandy, the blue, b- the bubble gum. Forget. The only thing is, though, we need to go. It's interesting glass because, bottles. like, do we just go all glass balls? Man, got to. Yeah. It's the only way. I will not. I'll do it no other way. Right. So w- one last thing. One last thing to end on. Um, so much wasted juice. <laughs> One la- just one last thing to end on. So when when the lockdown kicked in, I, I, I delivered to both of you guys uh, a selection to be able to get us through four episodes. We've only got four drinks left, which means we technically only have four episodes left. And I know it's eating away at you. Ah, that, sorry. I know it's eating away at you seeing those drinks. and like, fucking want to know what that tastes like. Out of those four, now don't, we don't, don't need to tell them all what, what all four are, but out of those four, what one are you like, hurry up and let me open that? Frescolita. Frescolita. Yeah, I want to know what Frescalia is. If any, he's got it to hand, so we can see no, it. It's in, yeah. the, uh, it's in the kitchen. That's fine. Yeah, you I don't need, need, need to tune in. You need to tune in. Um, I've, You've had I've, it. I've had it. It's a money. I, ha- I had it at the height of COVID. And uh, so I'm no, I'm just saying I'm looking forward to tasting it with with my okay. taste back. That's the one. It's there's, there's still some hitters in in that four, but it's interesting that we all said that. Frescalita uh, is, is eagerly anticipated. Um, the, the other drink that was sitting that I was most intrigued to try, we tried today, and that was a Kefola. That was... Then, uh, weirdly, th- this this Arctic Ocean had been sitting on the shelf probably for quite some time, and it, 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 it intrigued me every time, but just because of that pure basic look mm. and bright orange, and I'm like, I, I want to taste it. So it's I'm glad that I eventually... In the kitchen that I want to get my hands ah, on. Yeah. How, so... Is that 55 drinks? No, more yeah, than that. Is, we've done 57, 59? I think. 57. Okay. I mean, obviously some of them, if you break that down, we would, Sorry, have, all, we would have all have tried some of them prior to the, the shows, but a large number of them we haven't. So as three crazy guys, we've uh, we've already covered a lot of ground. It's like we are starting to venture in. If, we're, if we keep this going exponentially, once we've done like a year's worth of episodes, there's going to be very little scope for anyone you know in your immediate, like, and your, and your even your wider circle to be like, "Have you tried this?" You be like, "Hi, what's up?" Like Aye. everything, everything tastes like. No one, like, people are just going to bore you when they're like, "Oh, I had this man." You're like, "Ah, whatever, man." Yeah. Have you tried this? Like, is it? It's because I keep all the stock here. I've got, we've got, I've now got a couple of dedicated sodas in the kitchen, and it's it looks like. Getting into the best convenience store you've ever seen, just a wee row of everything. Um, and it's getting there, and they're like, right, what are we having for dinner? Or that, oh, what am I going to have with that? 
it's, it's tough. It's a tough so thing. Menu, I now no long. I now no longer have a favourite soda. There's just too many of them that are great. Good thing though. You want to like, be able. To, you want to be able to like. No, like that's what I don't get about. It's a weird thing to sign off on, right? But that's what I don't get about people that are like, like don't want to try certain foods. It's like why, why are you proud of not venturing yeah. out and trying something new? Like Andy, the, the other day, sending pictures of like, um, a, a cream sodas. Yeah. And I'm like, if you go back, I mean, there's a lost episode where Andy like slated a cream <laughs> soda, slated IBC, slated it, and uh, it's. But like I'd like, but he never took any pleasure in disliking it. But like a lot of people, they like even with like certain fruits and things. I was like, nah, I wouldn't try that. Ah, it's rubbish. And you're just like, why do you get off on like not and like just find these things, man? Like they're all there that we tried. Yeah, I'm trying to find the best in every lane. Like, yeah, you know, I mean, there's, yeah, you know, I, I, somebody's like cola. I want to know exactly what to recommend. Yeah, same. I mean, if there is, if anyone knows. Of the money, mango sparkling because it ain't Rubicon. <laughs> Maybe there's people out there like, let me know because I want to know. It is, I, I was actually just trolling Instagram and I get tagged in something and I found a shot from South Queensbury with some glass bottle of Limca in stock. So I've sent my wee message see if they can get me some out. Um, but just just to, to, to def definitively end on, do you know what your favourite drink has been so far, Al? Do you know what you have scored your favourite drink? Each of us have one that we've scored higher than any other. Um. <clears throat> I, I want to say mine is... Oh, fuck, mine is either Fritz or IBC, I think. I knew you weren't going to get yours. I knew I, you were not going to get yours, Nick. I think mine's McDade's. Yours is McDade's, Al. Yeah. Nick, yours is Gerito's Guava. Oh, so it is. Uh, and mine is Gerito's Mexican Fritz Cola. Guava is 4.5, is that right? Yeah, Guava is 4.5. Mine's Fritz, G Fritz, Gerito's Mexican Cola. Four. Aye, Fritz, Fritz and Mexican Cola are, are next up for you, Um Fritz with a 4.4, IBC with a 4.3. Yes, um, I was close. So was I, I gave I gave Gerito's Mexican Cola my highest score, and uh, Al gave McDade's his highest score. I, 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 knew that. That. I knew that because, mate, I can't stress, you can go back and watch the episode. Your Just mind was blown. <laughs> shook. shook. Like, the angels were talking to me when I sipped that, man. Something special happened. <laughs> oh, was, what oh. did you give it? Uh, it's, it's it's north of four point five, is it not? What for McDade's? For me? No, no, you're only at four point two. What's the so the highest score in the show is me at yeah, four point five. Your my highest score is four point two. Our score's four point two. You've got a four point five, a four point four, and a four point three. What is the but then, lowest? Score but then you also you also hold the lowest scores with two zero point twos. Uh, I my lowest score is a zero point four, and Al's lowest score I believe is also a zero point four. Wow. And then obviously Craig Neal scored a carton of milk at a five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another good episode, guys. I'm looking forward to next week. A lot of good drinks still to come. Yeah, uh, and we and got then... the guests hopefully soon uh, yes. we've been working on. Um, so hopefully, we can, once we can figure out the, the Royal Mail situation, we can uh, get the drinks sorted and uh, see how we get on. Perfect. We'll see you guys soon. Uh, keep an eye on the pages for the live stream, uh, the quiz and all that that we're doing. Uh, and we'll see you next week. Cheers. Cheers.